T minus 10 seconds and counting. TikTok, we got YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, LinkedIn, and Instagram. I How's think that's everybody. You got it all. How's everybody doing today? Happy Friday, everyone. What's going on, everybody? It's it's damp here. It's muggy. It's soggy. We're here in the grill it's studio. Frizzy. <laughs> it's oh, it's very, frizzy. Oh, it's very, very frizzy. Oh, boy, is it ever frizzy. You can tell. Just look at our hair. It's frizzing by the second. You just got to not care. You just got to let it happen because regardless, it's happening anyway. Maddie and I go, you can always tell it's going to be a frizzy hair day when we're either hair up or hair half up, half down. Yeah. And today I didn't want to. I wanted to go hair down, but I had to go half up. You can't fight it. We got Monkman Jeff in the house giving us some horns. We got Amateur Hour Fish, that's Lee. We got S. Will for its Frank. Valentin hey saying happy Friday. Over on TikTok, we've got Killer Oakley, Melvin Brooks, Reality Circus, Kyle, Bruce. How's everybody doing, guys? What's going on? It's Fr Don Pablo. I think he was here last week. Hi, Don Pablo. I cool, could be wrong, but. Cool names over on, in on TikTok. Okay, we cannot go any further without mentioning first on the grill this week. <laughs> Mr. Hot Tommy. I love it. It says Hot Tommy and then it's the like, gallery backyard barbecue and griddle. But knowing that barbecue pops had to type out Hot Tommy, funny. Yes. Very funny to me. I okay, like it. so honorable mention goes to our friend Bat13. I don't know what happened this morning, but he missed it. That was a, quite a streak. He it had was. Going. Congrats, Bat13. You came in second, and congrats to Hot Tommy for taking it on home. We know bat 13's going to be back. I'm going to guess next week. Yeah, I'm going to say, <laughs> I have a feeling that that was like, oh, he's having an off week, but he'll be back. He'll be back. He'll and get I, resurrected. I think he's <laughs> tuning in from work. So I don't know. I'm not sure if Bat13 ever shared what he does for work, oh. but he does He does listen at work. So he's not technically watching, but he's listening. So hey, Bat13. Yeah, and, we can, and we've got a super chat from our friend Brian who popped on before the show even started Brian. to let us know that he can't come this week because I think he's flying as we speak he said he said I think at noon exactly and he sent a $20 super chat to us so thank you so much Brian so sweet of you Brian it goes and the to help support the channel and um, keep us doing what we do with barbecue pops and barbecue mama and of course loopy here the fact well. that people come on the chat ahead of time to let us know if they can't even come on the show. Guys, that melts our hearts, okay? It, it really does. does. And we always say, like, this isn't a job. You don't have to call in sick. You yeah. don't have to tell us, but it, It's do. like a call in sick type scenario. People are like, I love you guys. We'll be back next week, okay? Can't make it in today. And we appreciate it, though, because we do, if we have the same, a lot of the same people coming every week, and I do appreciate it if they tell us they're yes. going to be here because it's not the same. We're when so grateful for you guys. We got this Jew can cue. That's Adam saying happy Friday. Kathy saying, did you get a storm too? Kathy, yes. I think the hair says it all. We got one heck of a yesterday. Oh, yeah. It was like I woke up and was like, why is it a rainforest out here? It's damp. It's Very buggy. Rainforesty. And you know what's weird? It's been a little bit cool here overnight because that's what happens in Canada starting this time of year. And so all the bugs kind of went away. It wasn't that mosquito-y, but now with this humidity, I woke up and I was like, here they come. The mosquitoes are out. Well, we got the bug spray I out. I don't see them in here yet, so <laughs> please, honey, do not jinx us. Yeah, the bug spray's here if you need it. Okay, I saw Matt, what? Mike Bierman in the house. James Bearden is in the house. How are you guys? We have Uncle Steve. Uncle Steve sending us a 100. Well, Uncle, Uncle Steve, Steve with the super chat. Oh my goodness. Goodness, goodness gracious. Thank you so much, Uncle Steve. We always love it when you stop by. It's really nice to see you in the chat. That's astronomical, though, Uncle Steve. Thank you so much. You do so do not have to send that type of super chat to us, but we appreciate it. It definitely goes to help support us and the channel and keep us moving and grooving. <laughs> so we appreciate it, Uncle Steve. Thank you so You're much. You're an absolute sweetheart, Uncle Steve. Uncle now, Steve. S. Will is in the house, and he's saying, let's see the tease. I'm gonna guess he's talking about the t-shirts. Oh no. <laughs> and he said, and by tees, I do mean t-shirts. Okay. You gotta specify okay. when you say tees, everyone. And you gotta specify when it's at, coming from S. Will. Yeah. All right? Okay. So S. Will notices that we are wearing matching tees. Guys, the last time that we wore these, um, it was all, I forget why we wore these. Hot Tommy's laughing. People, people really loved these shirts. These are actual Noble Premium Bison shirts. Yes. Because 
That's right, guys. We got a Noble Premium Bison recipe coming at you today. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. These shirts are pretty cool. They say, don't pet the fluffy cows, talking about, of course, bison. And, and look at this. We got very the logo. Cool. And we got that. Very look cool. That. Before we go any further, it's time for the Friday song and dance. Here we go. Let's do this. Friday, Friday, yes, it's Friday. Fritz Frank is saying cool tees. I'm hoping he's talking about the t-shirts again. <laughs> Guys, stop it already, everybody, okay? okay? We've got James in the house, had Tansy's Patty saying hi, ladies, and we do have Noble in the house. They're saying... Love the fluffy cow. Hey guys. Guys, we seriously are obsessed with these t-shirts. They fit phenomenally and they look super cool. Yes, they are fantastic shirts. Um, Hot Tommy's saying he prefers the pretzel shirt, which is of course talking about my Seinfeld inspired shirt that I wore a couple weeks ago. We love a good graphic <laughs> tee around here. Yes. We really, really do. We got C-Mac in the house saying, ladies. Hi, C-Mac. Hi, C-Mac. How's it going? Um, okay, so we have a locked and loaded recipe for you guys today. Ooh, Ooh barbecue pops barbecue the graphics. Barbecue pops. Okay, so our friends over at Noble lovingly said these look like um, little porcupines, porcupines, I think. Little delicious porcupines. They should be called that. We need a rename. Noble <laughs> little delicious porcupines because <laughs> they are filled with ground bison, lean ground bison, and rice. And when you stuff a zucchini and you stuff it with uncooked rice that's been rinsed. They just point out. Something, they point they out. Point Oh, guys, that's a technical term here. They point out. Yeah, I right? don't know why they totally point out. Um, okay, we've got another super chat. Guys, you guys are so sweet with the super chats today. T, T. Doe Jackson is saying, I'm so thankful I found your channel. I ended up buying the Ninja Outdoor Oven and made your zucchini baba ganoush. Yes. yes! I'm so glad that you like the baba ganoush. That's one of my favorite recipes we've done recently. Thank it's phenomenal. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the super chat. That is extremely kind of you. Um, we very much appreciate that. So thank and you guys, very much. And guys, stay tuned because we have a little bit of um, fun to announce coming up that that's, the, those super chats are going to come in quite handy. Oh yeah. We'll let you guys know a little down the line, but we are happy that you guys are here today. We got to get cooking. We got to sc start stuffing these little porcupines. Okay, so to, to tell you what the actual recipe is, it's Middle Eastern stuffed zucchini. Look, but I knew it. I knew Barbecue Pops was going to throw that up a second time. That graphic is too good to not make it up on screen a second time. Oh, 100 OP. <laughs> and the picture, which I'm going to take full credit for it, myself. Phenom <laughs> Let's give Key a round of applause, guys. Key does all our photography. Thank you. Absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Thank you okay. very much. I think this one's a winner. I think you guys are really going to like it. And it's stuffed with a lot of delicious flavors. So honey, what I'm going to do first is to get you started on chopping our garlic. It looks like I'm going to be doing everything today. Actually, you know what? Get started on the zucchini first before that. Yeah, that's now, what I thought. Okay, you get started on the zucchini before the garlic. Before we go on any further. Ooh, prickly, this, prickly tops here. This is the day of Super Chats. Hot Tommy sent in a, a, one as well. Hot Tommy, thank you so much. Oh Hot my goodness. Tommy. You guys, thank you so much, Hot Tommy. I'm sweaty and now I'm blushing even more with all the Super Chats. <laughs> I don't, oh my good heavens, guys. Thank she you. Is, it's well, like ting. Thank you guys so, I, it's, I always find it so astounding when people want to be so supportive of the, the people that they watch. And we appreciate it, guys. So thank you so much, Hot Tommy. You're yep, Hot Tommy, you are absolutely adorable. Hi, C-Mac. We can't wait to see you next. Guys, we actually are going to be doing um, an event in the next little couple, couple weeks here in Toronto. And we love when people come out and then we get to meet people in the barbecue family. Yes. Um, okay, so for the zucchini, these are zucchini that I grew in my garden. The variety is called Romanesco. Okay, can I just say this thing is super fun to use. Isn't it? It's everything I wanted it to be and more. That's why I gave it I to you. I don't own this. So guys, this is a melon baller. I don't know why this is like such a such a gadget that I've always wanted to own and I've never owned it. It's not like it's difficult to find. I think I got this at the dollar store. Okay, yeah, I'm, this might be coming home. This might be one of those ones that is going into your girl Mert's purse no, on the way home. No, no. <laughs> this is so fun and like so satisfying. I know. And I'm going to hold this up so you guys can see just like, I don't know if it's like the sound or something is just like so satisfying about this. It just comes out. It's not the sound. So perfectly. It's because Why it's so that soft. fun. It's because the inside is so soft and it works very, very well. Okay. Fritz Frank is asking what the event is. Fritz is Frank that as hollow that, as, you, as yes, you need to go. Because you don't want to go too far so we don't want the other side. Exactly. Um, Fritz Frank is asking what event we are talking about. Sorry. I got distracted with the food, Fritz Frank. 
We're going to um, an event with Dixon's Barbecue and Big Green Egg. And, and Noble. Noble. And Noble. Okay, Called, look, at, look at how good that looks. I know. It looks amazing, honey. You're doing a great job. Guys, look. Called, um, it's called Taste of Kingsway, right, honey? Taste of the Kingsway, and it's in downtown Toronto. I think that's downtown Toronto, because we're, we're not city gals, okay? So I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna guess that's, to me, that's downtown Toronto. Yeah, we'll let you guys know the exact date and time that we're going to be there, but it's September a full. September 9th and 10th. Full weekend. September 9th and 10th that's Saturday that's Sunday there's two opportunities for you guys to get down there we're gonna need to see ya yeah and we're gonna be there 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. which is like very unusual for Murd and Kerr. Yeah, we're gonna have to um, have a couple coffees that night, that's for sure. Yeah, oh, for sure, Ooh, right? Where, what is this angle? Yeah, where, where is that this? barbecue is this, box? Is this this here? I think so. Nope, that's not that. <laughs> okay, I well, can never tell. <laughs> you're doing a great job, honey. And please keep hollowing out. I'm gonna get started on our filling. So we yep, have- Yeah, we got Chef Ryan in the house saying, hello, ladies. And Hansie's Pit saying, I love the smell of melon balls in the morning. <laughs> James, goodness gracious, okay? They do smell wonderful. You could absolutely um, chop these up and add them to the filling. I'm gonna leave more room for the bison and for the rice. So I'm gonna give these to the chickens because the chickens are obsessed with the tender inside of zucchini like this. Um, but these would be totally good in, in other things. You could eat them. Did you know that you can eat zucchini raw? A lot of people don't know that. I think it's crunchy. It tastes like nothing. Add some ranch. You're good to go. Yeah, why do people not want that? Okay, like, we have... Um, and I'm going to get on onion chopping, which is also for my garden. Gar okay, let's garden. not go down the... It's from Kiki's Garden. Give me because, some credit. <laughs> guys, these, this recipe will be done in the next four hours if she starts to talk about it. Well, okay? pretty much every ingredient is from my garden. The tomatoes, the, the, I'll give the it garlic, to yeah. the, the zucchini, the, the onion, onions. everything. It's literally the everything parsley. except the noble premium bison. Everything. And guys, on that note... Noble, you can, we, every time we cook with Noble Premium Bison, people are always like, okay, it looks delicious. It looks fantastic. But where can I get it? That's, yes. I have to say that's the number one question that we get asked, even though we say it every single, single time, time where, where you, you can, can get, get it. It doesn't get easier than heading to noblepremiumbison.com. You can check out their where to buy tab. It literally says where to buy. You click on that, you put in your address, and it'll tell you your closest location. Depending on where you are, but we get ours from Sobeys and um, Metro Costco. and Costco. Yeah, absolutely. But um, you, you bought can, it for Metro. Yeah, not this, but you can absolutely. And um, oh, I didn't know that you could. Yeah. I know you can get it from Longos. I know that um, you, you can, can check, check out, out the tab, tab and just find out where we can get it. Yeah, yeah absolutely. We got, got Kathy in the house and Kiki's garden is gold. Thanks, Kathy, Kathy, you know the way to this girl's heart. She loves hearing that because it is one heck of a garden. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much, Kathy. That's really the kind of you to say. We got our girl Marianne saying, hey, Maddie, did you get some highlights? Marianne, thank you for noticing. No, I did not. It's just the frizz. It's just the <laughs> frizz coming on through, making my hair look a little bit lighter, but I'll take it. I'll it go looks with beautiful, it. honey. It looks, you own the frizz because it's looking fantastic. <laughs> Guys, if ever I have a new um, hair color, it's courtesy of um, me checking in to Key's House of Beauty, Kiki's <laughs> House of Beauty, because Key does my... Um, my hair, yeah. but I can actually check in there because I haven't been there in quite a while. That was actually a, um, okay, so Eva Llama's letting us know that the lower cam echoes so bad. So Barbecue Pops, I don't know which one that is, but maybe you want to stop going to it. <laughs> Leave it to Eva Llama. <laughs> we absolutely appreciate you, Eva Llama. He yes. always lets us know if there's some kind of thing that Barbecue Pops, or yeah, Barbecue Pops needs to fix. Yeah, fix, And you know he gets on it ASAP. Thank you so much, Eva Llama. We really, really appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I was just going to say, so first of all, John is, John Prell over on TikTok is tuning, tuning in from Saskatoon. So John, go to the Noble Where to Buy page because you can definitely figure out where you can get it in your area. Um, and I was going to say, yes, I do do mad. That's a little see, um, hidden talent of mine that I learned during the, the pandemic. What? When we were all stuck inside, how to do hair. I figured yeah. out how to do mine and yours. But it's like, okay, if you can learn to do someone else's hair, Mm, cool, I'll give it to you. But if you can do your own hair, like, come on. Yeah, well, because I, I think there was a time when everyone was learning, like, trying to pick up a new skill. Yeah, new skills. We got Chris Ritchie in the house saying, what's up, y'all? I'm hearing it in Chris Ritchie, Ritchie's accent. <laughs> Me too. He's got a good one. Hey, He's Chris got Ritchie. that southern twang. And he's saying, how are my favorite Canadians doing? Chris Ritchie, we're doing great. Um, frizzing by the heartbeat. Okay, we oh, really yeah. are. But oh, we're yeah. making it happen, having fun here, cooking up some noble premium bison. Yep. And um, I don't want this task to be over. 
Yeah, I'm trying, to, flying through I'm trying that. to rush because um, I'm, I want this to be, I don't know if this is, if this recipe will be done by the time that we're done with the um, live today. I'm going to try, I'm really going to try because these take 40 to 45 minutes, but I've got the grill fired up a little hotter than normal to get it to try to hurry up. And I've got the convector in there, so we don't have to worry about it burning on the bottom. But I did, I am going to try to speed it up because I want to show you, I like it, I prefer it when we can show you what it looks like okay, on the Okay, I think that means Keith can't going... Mad, you gotta hustle. No, you're doing good. Honey. Okay, I'm trying. You're doing well. S. Will is saying, speaking of hair, S. Maddie, and he's given a. Okay, guys, you know the way to our hearts. Yeah. Okay, even when we're saying that it's looking frizzy, which I think I saw um, Fritz Frank just calling out the 80s hair bands. You know what? I like that look. So I'll go with it. Yeah, I do too. And honey, that's not, you don't look like an 80s hair band though. No, but I, I, I don't, that's what I'm saying. I don't think that that's like a bad thing. I love, I think that's like a timeless look. Oh no. I think it is. No, it isn't a timeless well, look. Well, I think it is. And I feel bad for people who don't realize that that's not a timeless <laughs> look. <laughs> oh my goodness. We got Kenneth in the house. That's North Texas Barbecue Annex. We know where he's tuning in from. The place is right in the name. Guys, we want to know where are you watching from? Yes. We love hearing that. Yeah, let us know on TikTok as well where, where are you tuning in from because that is something that we always like to, to hear. So I've got some parsley that I'm adding in now. And now my chopping is over. So I'm going to go wash up. Maddie's going to get going on the garlic. I've given her the fun task of an entire head of garlic. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Okay, so you guys know normally we don't wear gloves. Sometimes we do, I'm gonna sometimes go wash we out, don't. Honey. But I am wearing gloves today because Key said it's my job to be doing this entire head of garlic. Yeah, you better okay? believe it, baby. So I'm, I'm, this is a biggie. You guys can see this is my hand. Look at how massive that is. And I'm just gonna be wearing gloves today. I am, um, someone on, I think on our YouTube channel commented and I was absolutely dying. Gave it to me. Because they were like... The comments love the funny ones. I was dying. The good and the bad. Like, they were like, down with Jarlick. I know. I thought Jarlick was, like, was so creative. I don't I know. want a shirt that says down with Jarlick. If you're the in jar the house garlic. and you came up with it, I can't remember that person's name. Who was it? But Jarlick, like, because guys, okay, so to give you a definition on what that is, it's basically garlic that come, that you can get in a jar. The jar you garlic know, that Maddie loves is disgusting. I'm a fan of it. Kiki hates it. And that person apparently also is not a fan of it because they were saying down with the jar with the jarlic. It's but disgusting. I it's thought terrible. that was extremely creative. Okay, hot I don't know how we're gonna fit. <laughs> yeah, because Hot Tommy likes it. Okay, no more, no more. That, that's a pull the plug on this. Too much, too much. Wait, take this one out. We can't, but you can't overload them. They have to be in a single. Uh, there we hey, go. Hey, I didn't get out the zucchini bud. I know. I didn't know how much they were gonna. I fit. say let's. That looks like a lot of filling. I say let's just like load it up. I'm not pulling the plug. They can't be overlapping, though. I think it's fine. I don't know what you think, where we're you gonna, think you're going with this, it. but okay. we're going to do it. All right, North Texas Barbecue <laughs> Addicts is saying they like the jar like the jar like. And um, Eva Wama is saying, no jar garlic ever. Eva Wama, you're my boy. <laughs> Kenneth, you're my boy. Okay, <laughs> Barbecue Mama is saying, yuck. It is And sick. guys, for anybody tuning in, maybe for the first time, we got some newbies in the house. Barbecue Mama is in the house. She's she's the one running the chat over there. That's our real mom. Yes. We got our real mom in the house. And the person <laughs> that is the director of this entire production, which that's that's not gonna work. I don't no, know what I'm Take it here. off. That's barbecue pops. That's our real dad. So our parents are in the actual house. Look, we're doing it. That's not this gonna, is not work. gonna work. No, we'll figure it, it out. Off. We'll figure it out. <laughs> Yeah, we'll figure it out, meaning we we'll do it Chris my way. We got Chris Ritchie saying, big fan of the sister arguments, love the boats. Oh. Well, guys, Chris Ritchie, I'm glad you're a fan of it because it ain't going to stop anytime no. soon, guys. This is, I like to push Key's buttons even a little bit more during the live. Yeah, she does. She's <laughs> like, I'm going to say like 1% nicer when we're live to me. Uh. I can get away with a little bit more when yeah, we're live. I love how Maddie likes to tell you guys I'm the controlling one in real life. She's super controlling as well. So. I, I, okay, you called me controlling yesterday and I said I don't deny it. I know she I is. I absolutely don't deny it. Okay. Own your issues, people. That's how you get over your issues. <laughs> well, you better own them because you got them. <laughs> okay, so the next thing we're going to add is allspice. Now, a contrary to popular belief, some people think that allspice is a blend of spices, but it mm. isn't. Allspice is its own spice. So it sounds like you're like, allspice is like all spices. It's not. It's not a blend. It's its own spice that is very um, unique smelling. And it's a secret ingredient in um, like sauce, a lot of sausages. 
and pepperoni Ooh, and savory I would have never guessed sausages. Yeah, and you never, because it doesn't have its own, like when you use it sparingly, it has a very unique smell and taste to it. You don't want to overdo allspice. That's spice. the good stuff. I know. That is the good stuff. And the strong stuff. We like to tease her, but man, can that girl grow some garlic. Thanks, honey. <laughs> we got Fridge Man in the house. He's saying, hey, ladies. And Hansie's pit is saying jerk chicken because that is one of the key ingredients to a good jerk chicken. Yes. Okay, so it's going to go in here as well. And the other spice that we're going to add is some ground cumin or cumin, depending on where you're from. We got Mike Bierman <laughs> in the house, and um, Mike Bierman, I think, said last week that he was from um, Newfoundland, I think, I'm pretty sure, and um, he, I'd like to know how he says cumin or cumin. We've asked yeah. this before. Good question. But Mike Bierman is saying something very sweet that um, we'll give credit to Fritz, to our friend Fritz Frank, as he said it last week, too. He said, he's saying, <laughs> M and K are too good for the Food Network. That's very kind. That is absolutely so sweet, Mike Bierman. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that, Mike Bierman. That's very sweet. He's from Newfoundland, so that's very cool. I, mean, I would love I to remembered. hear him. Is Newfoundland the one that's sometimes referred to as The Rock? Yes. Is that right? Okay, yes. I thought so. I just wasn't 100%. Okay, so now I want to know, what is your opinion on dried garlic? Because I'm obsessed with this stuff. Barbecue Mama takes it there, too. She's not a fan of that. No, she's saying she is now. I What? No. I love oh, the organic one. Oh my one. goodness, the snob, the snobbery that surrounds us, guys. Okay. She's saying she likes it because it's organic. Now, this is not berry barbecues or um, garlic, which is the best, but I'm out of it, so I had to go to the next best thing, which, which is... Which his is organic. It, yes, it is organic, and it's the best, but I like to use, when, when you're making, I like to use garlic in its many forms, so not jarred, but fresh and dried. That's now, my we have to... Tito Jackson, who shared with us recently, he's new to cooking, and this is our friend who told us just now that he took the plunge and welcomed home the Ninja Woodfire Outdoor Oven. Oh, that's cool. So he's new to cooking and already given us a tip. He's saying, I've been using this spice craft seasoning on everything and it's amazing. Wow. Interesting, Tito Jackson. I've never heard of that one before. Um, it sounds cool. I like the name. And you know, you guys know Key and I are always um, loving to try new rubs. Yeah, that is really cool. I would like to learn more about it. And especially somebody who's new to cooking, I'd love to see what this person thinks about it. Yeah. Or that they think it's good and that I what we think about it. Okay, so if you have zucchini, I will show TikTok because you is guys can't really see. Is this going in the mixture? It's going in your tomato water. Okay, okay. Which I will talk about in just a second. But I want to show I'll TikTok. I'll show you guys in a sec. So, Hi, Eva Lama. He said he's stopping in here. <laughs> So this is what our hollowed out zucchini looks like. We, you've, you'll notice that we've cut these ones in half and then hollowed them out because they are quite large. But if you have smaller zucchini, you don't have to cut them in half. We're just doing that so they fit in this um, grill pan. And know what I think is cool about that? What? That could be a great starter. Yes. A great appetizer. If you're looking for something to serve at um, a dinner party, which I'd like to know if anyone's having a dinner party because I feel like those are going extinct. Down with dinner parties. Yeah, I, can't stand I feel like people parties. don't really have them that much anymore. But if you are, let us know if you're hosting one in the next little while. And if you are, you might, okay, I love that you're seasoning the veg. Yes. But you might want to serve this as a starter because one of the keys of dinner party hosting, we always say, is get as much done ahead of time as possible. Yes. This can be done ahead of time. You pop it, pop her in the grill, pop her in the oven. And um, you can make time for being with your friends. A hundred percent. I don't know who these like people that are hosting dinner parties that think it's impressive to be doing like table side Caesar salad and stuff. I'm like, first of all, it's not the fifties. Uh, I've never had a table side Caesar at someone's house. Yeah, but some people think that kind of stuff is impressive, and I'm like, I don't Do you know. Say it's not you. the fifties. Yeah, that was big in the in the like fifties with those wooden bowls. Like, you know, table side would... anything, I could take it or leave it. That ain't like no. table side guac. I kind of find it awkward. It is awkward. I'm like, do I make eye contact with you? They look like, like they just want to get it done and go do some other stuff. Yeah, I'm like, I know to give that them praise while they're doing it. They don't really want to be there. Yeah. I don't. I, I I could take it or leave it. Yeah, I'm not. I make it fresh by all means, but I'm not really one to want to have it right there done right in front of me. <laughs> I think they think it is quite awkward. Okay, so our filling is almost ready to go. And Maddie's gonna continue chopping up our garlic. And the tip that I wanted to mention to you guys is Maddie brought it up, which is make sure you're seasoning your veg. So be, even though we're, we've seasoned the filling quite heavily, we are also seasoning the bottom of the zucchini because zucchini is like, um, not cold cuts. So I, oh my God, I have to go to bed. It's like cucumber. I was gonna say, it's wow. like cold cuts. 
It's like okay, well, I don't think Eva Llama would agree agree with you that it's like cucumber because he's shouting it out on every platform that he hates zucchini. Zuc okay, you would like this kind of zucchini though, Eva Llama. I don't I think promise. he's. I don't think he's buying. I don't think he's buying. Hi, Jen. How are you? <laughs> hey, Jen. Hi, She's Kevin. Saying, hi, ladies. Hey, Kevin. Okay, so just make sure you season them because they, since they have so much water in them, they need that seasoning. Otherwise, they're not going to taste good. Seasoning is half the battle, mm -hmm. people. Agreed. So the last thing I'm going to add to the filling itself is rice that has been rinsed. And that is important. Gord, good afternoon to you as well. He's saying good morning over, or good afternoon on um, TikTok. Hey, Gord. So, Gord, I'm talking about rinsing rice. We want to get some of that starch off of it. But this is rice that hasn't been cooked. It's going gonna, it's gonna to continue cooking in the boat while it's in the, um, I don't know why we're calling these boats. Is that like the official name now? It could be. We have <laughs> Will Plunk in the house. He's saying, I'm okay. I'm still losing weight. Well, Will Plunk, this is one of those recipes that's great no matter what kind of diet you're on because we use the extra lean grounds in this, um, in this particular recipe. Well, you could use the extra lean or the lean. Either you could, way, you could, one. but we found this at Costco. That's where you can get the, the extra leans at Costco, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's, that's a great one that um, this is a filling dish and it's also very light. Yes, absolutely. And I only added a tiny little glug of olive oil to it. These, and these garlic skins, this is, this is why the jar, the jarlic, okay? Because this is taking me 10 years. Thank goodness that's not going in there. It's going in this tomato water, which let's hold this up and show everybody what key means because she's literally talking about tomato water here, guys. Okay, so this is a traditional recipe. This is the traditional Lebanese recipe. And you mm. might, and it's, there's not, so the, for the tomato water that I keep referring to. Look at the consistency. It's very, it is very watery. It's very watery. It's not, it's based, it's, and again, from my garden. Let me just show TikTok, okay. guys, check this out. It's cherry tomatoes that are blended with water and an entire head of garlic. But I am, I'm not, I didn't want to bring the blender out here because in a live that would be quite loud and I didn't want to up upset you guys. That's really annoying and loud. So that's why I'm getting Maddie to crush it and add it to our tomato water mixture. But the water it, when we dump it over top of the zucchini is what's going to cook the rice in the meat and it, it's what gets them to puff up because it's, the rice isn't cooked. So am I, I'm not chopping this, I'm just crushing it and putting it right in the water? Well, you can do either. It's up to you. Because I kind of like... It's supposed to be blended up in the water. Yeah, but I kind of like, if we're baking this, I kind of like that someone would end up with a nice roasted piece of garlic in their... In their, on their plate. I, I like think you're that. trying to get away with doing less work is what I think. <laughs> <laughs> you, you think she's my sister, guys. Maddie's she like, can, I think it's she fine. She can hear me taking the lazy way a mile away. Okay, I'm like, I kind of enjoy that. Keith's like, get chopping. <laughs> no, it's all right, honey. If you don't want to, I'm cool with it. No, I will, but okay. I was trying to get out of it. <laughs> I know. <laughs> it's not my first day with you, honey. <laughs> okay, Eva Llama is giving some sass. He's saying, Maddie, fresh garlic takes seconds to chop. Uh, it's not taking me seconds well, right and here. Well, not when you do the whole, um, not when you do the whole, um, head. That's the problem. I got you the whole, I could put the whole head in it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. He wants the whole head. She's getting the whole head. Now, Uncle Steve is talking to Barbecue Mama. And are you guys talking about being able to hear Uncle Steve's accent in person in February? Because I'd love that. Yes. We love, guys, we love accents. We, that's one of, to me, I find... I don't know about you guys, but when you hear accents on TV and on video, you're like, cool, that's like the Boston accent or that's the Australian accent. But when you hear it in real life, it's like 20 million times cooler. I know, and it Uncle totally Steve is. Uncle Steve has that Texas accent that... I don't know if I've ever heard a Texas accent in real life. I don't think I have either. I know, that's one, that's the bucket list, baby. We gotta put that on there. Yes, totally. I would love to do that as well. Okay, now- I'm gonna start filling. Okay, you start filling. Um, I'm actually, I am gonna take the quick way out because I wanna go to the big bowl of questions. And I saw Mr. Jay Booth in the house. He is like the unofficial sponsor of the big bowl of questions because he loves the big bowl of questions. Okay. So. And he's not shy about saying get on a question. I'm surprised he hasn't <laughs> said it yet. Okay, Jay, or maybe he did and I just didn't see it. Maybe. Okay, so to fill these guys, all you wanna do is take some of the mixture. Ooh. Okay, so. not getting this on the shirt. <laughs> Even when I was firing up the grill before we started, I was like, this shirt is not going to make it, I don't think. With the charcoal, it's going to, I'm going to get dirty. White, wearing white is like a beacon for getting I'm not something. getting anything on this Noble Premium Bison shirt. Now, Kathy's saying, I would just microplane that garlic and Kiki can fight me. <laughs> hey. Okay, but she can't, at least Kathy's saying, yes, the fresh, 
but microplane it. That's and a good I compromise, agree, Kathy. Kathy. I think that's phenomenal. Honey, next time, please get me one. Okay. Please bring that out to All me. right. Landon over on TikTok is saying, can you make, make some beef tacos? Landon, we actually made some bison ta um, smash burger tacos a few weeks ago. Which were absolutely spectacular. Yeah, so visit our website or the Noble Premium Bison website for that recipe because that one was, we were actually just talking about that one. Yeah, because that I, one keeps like, making oh. a comeback. A lot of people ask about that one. Yeah. Now, I'm going to de-glove, and it is time, in fact, to go for a, a dip dive in okay. the big bowl of questions. I'm just going to keep stuffing Hopefully these. I don't need those gloves anymore. All right, I'm just going to keep stuffing these. And what I love about this recipe is you'll notice it's weird because the filling doesn't have any egg in it which I think a lot of people think an egg is required as like a binder, but look, they're the sticking in. The starchiness in the rice will keep everything together. Yes. Now guys, our apologies to TikTok or, and Insta, but we are having some issues over on there. It keeps buffering, but if you're there, if you're still there, we're happy that you guys are still there, all right? It could be something to do with that storm. We always get- It could, it we're could. We're in the country, we're in the girls' studio. Sorry about that, guys. But YouTube is holding strong, so if you want to continue... Thank goodness, because that's usually the troublemaker in the house. Yeah, which is weird, which is what's telling me that it could be um, the storm, but who knows. All right, Head guys. Head to our YouTube. Let's go in, and I put the link in bio on TikTok this time. So, guys, if you want to head over and watch on YouTube, click the link in bio. Insta, click the link in bio. It's there for you, and it'll d direct you right to the live. All right. Okay, so, guys, we're going for a dip dive, and I'm pulling out a pink one. And we're gonna be reading this in one second. Okay, this is looking like it's gonna end up being the perfect amount of filling to zucchini ratio, I must say. I will say I'm quick, but I just looked away <laughs> and that was empty and now it's full. Cause now I'm trying to, these boats are full. Cause I'm trying to get them on. I wanna be able to show you guys these before the live Ooh, is over. This is a cute one. Okay. Cute and fun. All right. Okay, and guys, cute and before, fun is what I like. Before we go, um, before we read this question, if you have any questions that you would like to submit to the big bowl of questions, Send them our way, send us a direct message, and we'll add them in there, okay? Now, to specify, they give me questions about really, keep it clean, people. Okay, but, I was gonna, buddy, buddy. But they can be questions about anything you want. Like, they can be questions about us, which tends to happen when we ask people to submit questions. But they can be, they can be questions about barbecue, they can be questions that are more like word of the day type questions that everyone watching can answer. Uh, Jay's asking, are these new questions? Yeah, they are, Jay, we did it just for you. They are, Jay, they're a full batch of newbies. James came over to Facebook. He's watching over on Facebook because, yes, I think that we are having some issues over there. So, guys, Sorry, guys. head over, okay? Because we're going strong over there. Barbecue Pops is man in the ship over there. Okay. All right. This <laughs> As is the question is. that goes out to everybody watching and listening. Okay. Have you ever snuck snacks into the movie theater? I'm going to call BS if anyone says no. <laughs> Agreed. No way. Guys, no one... your secrets are safe with us. We love going there with you guys. We like to all keep it honest in here. The question is, have you ever snuck snacks into the movie theater? Okay, yeah, you better have two hands up on that, honey, because I'll tell you guys right off the top, Key and I have some epic sneak-ins. We used some to go epic nuts. epic sneak-ins. We used to have... Kathy's keeping it real. She's saying, oh, heck yes. Oh, yeah, Kathy. I'm going to need to know what snacks they were. Yeah, Scooby-Doo saying, I have many times. Eva <laughs> Llama over on TikTok is saying, yeah. <laughs> I, we definitely have, guys, and I, Maddie's right. We had some epic sneak-ins. We used to eat, like absolute monsters. Animals. I don't know. <laughs> Straight up animals. In our teenage days, like we used to hit, I don't know if you That's guys... That's teen life. That's yeah. where you can. But I don't know if you guys have this store. In Canada, we have a place called Bulk Barn. Do you guys have that in the States or wherever you are watching? Because in Canada, Bulk Barn's like the place to go if I you want to I think that's get, Canadian. Is it? There's my, I think the international ones, um, it might be in the U.S. I think it's Trader Joe's that does oh, like that type of thing. I'm jealous of Trader Joe's whenever people talk about it. Okay, Mike Bierman is saying, I have so many times, ironically, with my cousin Scooby-Doo, who's tuning in on TikTok. Oh, yeah, I forgot about you. Guys, we need to know what you brought in. Kathy's saying, candy, gotta have the theater popcorn. And that's what Fritz Frank said as well, because... I don't know about you guys, but popcorn doesn't taste the same unless it's from the theater. Exactly. But they, I'm sorry, they charge like a million dollars for a little thing of candy. Do they still do free refills? Good question. Because they used to back in the day. Now, oh, wait, wait. I have, a, I have a little tidbit for you guys, which I thought about going with you, and then I was like, what am I thinking? More grilling, less talking. Give me the tomato <laughs> water then. Okay, so this weekend, this Sunday, is actually... Um, it's like movie theater, National Movie Theater Day. And I don't know if it's in the States too, but in Canada, 
it's four dollars for any <laughs> cinema to see any movie what's what <laughs> Mama, Kiki sneaking in whole vegetables. <laughs> I totally would. She would. She would be the gal rolling up with a bag of carrots. Okay, here's but our guys, tomato water. Guys, I will water. have you. I will have you know. Back in the day, as Kiki pours the tomato water into this gorgeous, the zucchini stuffed with noble <sighs> premium bison, the extra lean grounds. I will tell you guys. In the past, I'm not even joking with you. We had dinner with barbecue mama and barbecue pops, and then. We went to McDonald's, got McDonald's, as well as a cheesecake for some reason, <laughs> and brought in a cheesecake. Did we really? Yes. Remember I don't the, remember this. We went to the bakery and got, you know, those little individual cheesecakes? Why did we get McDonald's, too? I don't know. Well, okay, we love McDonald's, but I don't know why we had dinner and then also did that. Yeah, that's slightly Because I remember <laughs> Barbecue Pops had discovered that technically it's not, back then, I don't know if it's like it is now, but it's not, they're not allowed to say you can't bring in snacks. And then we, Key and I rolled with that. <laughs> we took that and went with it. I don't think that they meant bring in like a restaurant amount of food. <laughs> and like a, a full meal. Why would we, that's, so, that is like, that's a lot for even our standards though. And I remember thinking it was so cool, but then I remember being like, oh, that's why they don't do this because it was so messy. We made like such a mess on ourselves. It was like, Big Mac sauce everywhere. <laughs> oh man, I can't eat like that anymore. Like Kath just that volume. Kathy's saying, I haven't been to movie theater in forever, to be honest. Neither that have is, we, Kathy. That I was so true. I was we thinking of going Sunday because it's $4 movies because it's National Cinema Day, but then I was like, that's going to bring out everybody and, and I'm not going to And we still haven't go. seen the Barbie movie. I would go to see that. Yeah, but I don't know about you guys, but I can't stand crowds. Like if it's going to be so much more busy because of this $4 thing. Chris Ritchie is asking, what is y'all's go-to at McDonald's? Okay, we've shared this before. Wait. Kiki's getting that onto the grill. Yeah. Let's get that. Guys, the grill's fired up to, ooh, it's hot. It's 450. Um, yeah, we're cooking at 450. You'll see we have our diffuser plate in there. So there's no, we're, there, you don't need to worry at all about this burning. And we're going to slide that, <clears throat> we're going to slide that right on. Not really much to see because we've got it covered. And that's important to be able to let that liquid, that tomato water Juice cook. Juice into the rice. And cook everything. Yes. So we're going to get that lid shut. And I, this one of the greatest things about this dish is that this is a set it and forget it. You put it in there. There's no flipping. There's no turning. There's no saucing. There's no nothing. Another reason why it's perfect for a dinner party. Now, yes. to answer Chris Ritchie's question, he said, what is our go-to McDonald's order? This is what we do. Take it as your own if you want to use this yourself. Well, what I it's used Big to do. Mac, extra large fries, six piece of chicken nugs, side, side of um, sweet and sour. No, mine's side of honey. Mine's I know, side of honey. I, mine is side of um, sweet, and, sweet, sweet and sour. Well, let's not be self-centered. That at wasn't me. my order. Come at me if you're not telling me that's not the ideal order. Yeah, that used to be my order, 100%. Yep. Jamie is asking, where are you guys from? We are from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. Where are you from, Jamie? We got Russell in the house. That's Great Dane Barbecue. He's saying, hey, beautiful ladies. And um, we have Hansie's Pit saying, I snuck in a rack of lamb. James, if that's true, you win the award for coolest snack sn sneak in. Okay? That is pretty good. Because that is like, imagine someone just gnawing on like some lamb in the theater. Uh-oh. I forgot the bay leaves. That's all right. Oh, no. Guys, sometimes a bay leaf isn't, isn't necessary. That's all right, honey. You just leave it. Let that go. Okay, Jamie is in Ottawa, and he's saying, what camera is in front? Oh, Hot Wheel is saying, what camera is in front? Cool. This Did is... you see that weird cool shot? Barbecue Pops just had, like, a cool angle. Oh. Cool. Front is our YouTube and Facebook, so if you want to go, and we have different camera angles in the grill studio, but you can't see them on TikTok, unfortunately, because they don't let you but they don't let us do that over there. So if you want to see them, head over to our YouTube channel. Russell's letting us know you're on the big screen at All Barbecue Canada. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. What's going on? Not sure if the volume is on, but Russell, you might want to give it a little one of these on the volume. Bring it down. Bring it down a little bit. Because of this one. <laughs> Let's keep because it real. It's true. It's true. Now, Kathy's telling us her order. She's saying the McGriddle fries or chicken snack wraps. That's it. Nah, to the rest. She's saying that's it for her, okay? You know what? I haven't had McDonald's in so long, and all this talk is making me upset, everybody. I would love to be able to have McDonald's again because, 
I'm sorry, it's, you can't really deny McDonald's. You can't, but you guys also are not going to be able to deny this dish that we're cooking up today. Anyone just tuning in, we get a Noble Premium Bison recipe coming at you. This one's a goodie, but before we get to check what's going on under the hood, because we just got that on, and I want to say record speed, courtesy yeah. of me. That, what? I'm going to take some credit for that. Well, I want it to be done by the time the show's over. There's a chance it, it could. It could. You've got it really hot. So you're saying there's a chance. I am saying okay. there's a chance. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get in to Cheers to the Weekend. I am really feeling what's happening over here. That's a cool shot. It's really like behind the scenes action here. Yeah. That looks super cool. You can see a lot of stuff from this angle. Now, guys, we are making a delectable beverage for you today. Barbecue Mama, I want to know, could you go for a cocktail right now? It feels okay. like it's getting hotter by the minute. Yeah, because I feel like I need to be making a couple of these cocktails because it is quite hot today. Yeah. Okay, so it's time for cheers to the weekend, everybody. Hot Wheels is saying, what's your YouTube channel name? Just Maddie and Kiki. Hot Wheels, click the link in our bio and you'll head right over there so you can see all the different angles. Yes, and our friend Martin is joining us on Facebook. Hi, Martin. Hey, Hi, Martin. Martin. Martin is actually the, the fella that we, he's been our, our biggest supporter from the beginning. One of them. Yes, one of our biggest supporters, and he actually invented the grill goddesses. Yeah, that he really did. took off. Yeah, he that did. really took off there. Mike Behrman is saying my order is a Big Mac, 20 piece nuggets, and a milkshake and Oreo McFlurry. That's that's not really like Mike no fries. Behrman taking it there on the 20 piece. That's pretty good. Those I'm, nuggets go down so easy, it's not hard to do 20. I'm I thoroughly could, impressed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I could, I feel like I could easily go 20, but that's not really something that I'm proud of, everybody. <laughs> Chris Ritchie, Chris Ritchie's following Great Dane Barbecue. That's Russell. Chris Ritchie, you won't regret it. Russell is awesome. He's always making delicious recipes with Noble Premium Bison, actually. And um, also, while you're at it, Chris Ritchie, follow All Barbecue Canada, too. Yes. We were, um, Russell, we actually were cooking with um, one of the rubs that, that All Barbecue Canada sent us last week. Yeah, what was it called again? Cattlemen. Something. Cattlemen. Okay, now guys, I um, am using a very unique straw for this beverage. Okay, so we are making a strawberry lemonade that I want to call strawberry sunbeam. Okay, Ooh. that's the name of this one today because it's gonna look. It's gonna be yellowy because it. Okay, I already wrecked this. We were supposed to. <laughs> macerate the strawberries with this thing but I was too eager to just launch right into the dump them out no what we're gonna do it's never an accident guys just rock and roll with it can okay? you macerate them in that yes okay yes okay. we're back we're back we're making it happen these are strawberries that are frozen and I feel like frozen strawberries just oh, have an aroma to them they smell so good yes I, frozen fruit in general I feel like the aroma is stronger once it's fr once fruit is frozen and on that note Frozen fruit is one of the big and vegetables are one of the biggest bargains of a grocery store. Look at how good that's juicing. Yeah, because in, especially in the winter time, frozen Ooh. fruit and veg is so expensive. But they're normally grown in their peak of ripe, ripeness and frozen, and you can get them for way less money than the fresh stuff. And no, they're why? Way better. I like them. Why? Okay, this is a cool angle too over here. I like them because sometimes, especially strawberries. When you buy a pint of strawberries, there's pressure to eat them quickly. Yes. If you buy frozen, you're just good to go. You leave them in the freezer and you use them when you need them. Yes, that's true. And they go, they do turn fairly quickly. Now, this strawberry sunbeam that I'm calling this has limoncello in it. Okay, Ooh. so it, it's a basically a strawberry lemonade sparkler because it also has sparkling water in it. Ooh. I'm interested to see how this is going to come together, honey. Me too. We've got Johnny Mags in the house. Hi, Johnny Mags. How are you? Hey, Johnny Mags. You're at the. You're at one of the greatest parts of this live show today. We're making oh. our beverage to complement our delicious dish that we have, guys. I thought I messed up, but I think this is still going to be fun. Okay. You crunch those up real good. Cause frozen also really mushes down. Yeah, it does. They're already like halfway there. Oh, that smells so good. Yeah, that does smell really, really good. Hi, Barbecue Jones. He's saying a little late, but I'm still here. That's all that matters, Barbecue Jones. And Judge Wet Barbecue is saying, Twizzlers. They can see the Twizzlers. They're okay. getting excited. So, guys, if you're a Twizzlers fan, I'm going to say you probably have done what I'm about to do. Okay? It's Strizzle, it, are Twizzlers not the original straw? Yes. You're telling me that when you were a kid, you didn't put one of these into your, your pop 
or your soda, as our international friends call them, and use this as a straw. 100%. Everybody did it. Yeah, 100%. Everybody did it. Now, I've never seen these ones, Laura. Is this just like, are these actually different flavors? Or are they just different colors? No, these are rainbow. These are rainbow ones. Ooh. Look at how cool those look. This one, I'm going to guess, is strawberry. So we're going to use this. Okay. Cool. We're going to put that in there. The ice is really bogging me up. Shouldn't have done the ice right off the top, <laughs> but that's okay. It'll melt in two seconds in this drink, though, honey. And because this is a strawberry lemonade type experience, who couldn't go for a double straw? We're going to put a lemon one in there. Mike Beerman is agreeing they've used Twizzlers as straws before. Who, who hasn't? hasn't? Guys, I'm not taking, I'm not trying to sit here and act like I invented that, okay? I'm not taking, look, I take credit for things, but not that. Let's be real here. We've all done that. Hi, Danny C. over on TikTok. Thank you for joining us. Hope you're having a great Friday. What's going on? It's the weekend, guys. Has nobody even, has that sunk in to anybody yet? It's the last day before the weekend. I think weekend. it has. I think it has, okay? Unless you work the weekends, and I'm sorry. We're going to put in some, a, lemon, a nice lemon garnish, but I also want to put some lemon in there. This is a really nice lemon because it doesn't have seeds in it. Sometimes you get one of those ones. You're not putting the juice in? No, because we have limoncello. Oh. Guys, look God at this God forbid one. we put some fresh lemon juice in there too. <laughs> we don't want it to be too tart. Look, is this your time to be doing this or is this oh. my time to be doing this? Oh, I got told. It's not my time, guys. Okay, it's we're going to put time. both in there. Ooh. This, is, this drink is looking good. And you guys know I like to sometimes forget... The shot glass. This is for my, my mom, Barbecue Mama, and we're going to go in with some limoncello. See, Evil Mama's agreeing with me. He's saying this is the last weekend to wear white because it's almost September and you're not supposed to wear white after Labor Day. Guys, I don't adhere to that. I think it looks wrong. I Maybe not a t-shirt. Okay, t-shirt's different because there's lots on it, but like white pants, white shorts, white dresses. It's too much. It looks too agree. summery. I will, will get ready to see me rock and white in, on September, whatever. Get, okay? a, get some beiges. No. Beiges is, uh, is appropriate. Okay, so we're going to pretend this is, this is a strawberry sparkler, sparkling water. This what is, is actually blueberry pomegranate, but I think it goes. Yeah. I would have preferred if this was strawberry, but it's blueberry pomegranate. I think it's going to be delectable still. It's going to go in clear. It's not going to affect the color at all. You know what? I, to, to be perfectly honest with you guys, I feel like a lot of these taste the same. <gasps> Beautiful. Don't you? Beautiful. Especially the berry ones. Yeah. Okay, this looks Ooh. absolutely gorgeous. Guys, I'm going to hold this up so you can see this. Honey, we actually... Wait, I wasn't paying attention. What? How much limoncello did you put in there? I'm going to say a shot. It was a little bit more, it was a little bit more than a shot. It but was a Texas shot. It, is that what it's called? I don't oh, know. Texas size. That's what I, that's what I mean. Sure. I don't know if that's a thing, but... Sure, I'm going to hold this up so Insta can see this, but I think that that's a winner, guys. That is a winner that right there. That looks like a real... You're not going to stir it up? Um, we, can't stir, we can't stir it up with the, um, <laughs> with the straws, but that's okay. Okay. The show TikTok, guys, does that not look gorgeous? And does that not look like Strawberry Sunbeam is the perfect name for this? I think it is. I think you absolutely nailed it. All right. Before I bring this over to Barbecue Mama, I'm going to take a little sip. Honey, let's, let's Wait, do, let me get my jug. Let's do a cheers. Um, Hansie's Pit is saying, I'm glad there's booze in it. Okay? He's wow. happy the limoncello is in there. Cheers, All right. honey. Let's Let give me this a taste test. I'm going to go from the lemon straw. Okay. Now you have to take a sip and then bite the straw to get that full Ooh, it's experience. stuck to the bottom. <laughs> I like an edible straw. The straw ain't strawing. <laughs> <laughs> the why? Straw... What's the problem? <laughs> the straw ain't strawing. It's not working. But why? Is it because the berries are clogging it up? What's happening? <laughs> Did Twizzlers change? Back in the day, they had some some sturdiness to them. Why are these what, flopping? What's the problem? What's yeah, getting like? It's is not, it getting stuck? It's not sturdy enough. <laughs> if there's a hole in the middle, okay. or is it not? I'm eating that because eat it and take a sip from the side. It's wet. Okay. Tim? And I don't think Barbecue Mama wants your soggy straw. <laughs> She's laughing. Take a bite. Take a sip. It's a full explosion. It's you're delicious. biting, you're sipping, you're loving every minute of it. <laughs> Guys, the, the lemon, not that this is just about the Twizzlers, but that lemon Twizzler, it tastes like There's, lemon ice cream. I don't know what they put in these things, but oh my good heavens. Now, good. if key, if we would have put the lemon juice in there, it would have been too tart. But because we just went the limoncello and the sparkling water and the strawberries, 
it's perfectly balanced. It's a little bit strawberry. It's a little bit lemony. Are you going to very, it to very her? sweet? I'm, I might want to keep. Are you going to keep drinking it? I don't think that one's getting over to barbecue. Our more. friends at Noble are coming in with a genius idea. I'm absolutely going to use this. They said maybe you can freeze them. Yes. To get these a little bit stiffer because guys, back yes. in the day, they used to be stiff. I don't know what the heck happened. I don't know either. I think you might have got some of the strawberry clogged in it. No, it's just not coming it's a, up at all, man. Okay, it's, it's a not traffic coming up jam at all. in the straw. I'm going to go bring this to Barbecue Mama before I to take all of it down because it's really, really delicious. Strawberry Sunbeam, everybody. I think the name suits it. And I think I've written the tagline for you. You're drinking, you're sipping, you're chewing on the straw, you're loving every minute of it. Barbecue Mama, does that yeah. sound about right? <laughs> <laughs> Give it a try, Barbecue Mama. I think it's a winner, even though the straws did not do what they were supposed to do. She's trying, but I don't think it's going to work either. <laughs> yeah, what the heck? <laughs> She's giving it her all, guys. And it's Are those happen. stuffed with something? No, they're they... hollow, but were they not stiffer before? It's because it's hot out. They're, they're gooey. Okay. Yeah, I know. guys, it was a fail. You it was tried, a fail honey. with the straw, but I'm going to take our friends at Noble Premium Bison's tip, which is freezing. I think that would be genius. That will absolutely work. That will absolutely work. Now, I'm going to try the blue. Honey, what color do you want to try? Because this is just fun to give these a little try. Um, I'm going to give you this one. No, I want blue. I want blue. Okay, but we can try both okay. of them. I'm not eating. I don't want the whole thing. All right. Oh, this smells good. Oh, this smells like childhood. Smell that blue raspberry, which is non-existent. It smells, smells like fruit roll-ups. Does anyone remember fruit roll-ups? Oh my good heavens. <laughs> Why is that so good? <laughs> barbecue Mama, did you try it? Okay, give, give, go get Barbecue Pops one. He right. one too. That's rude. We're all eating candy. Barbecue Pops is working so hard and he doesn't even get to try anything. <laughs> Here, Barbecue Pops, I got you an orange one. He's saving his appetite for the dish that it's 12.51. I don't know if we're going to make it. But I don't know if it's going to happen, guys. Yeah, I don't, wanna, I don't want to rush this. Can I get a Eat bite that. of blue, buddy? Can I get a bite of blue? No, blue's good. Um, oh, yeah. Mm. That That's is good. really good. That okay. is really, really good. Do we want to take the foil off of the um, tray to see what's going on under here? I don't want to. It needs to no. cook. Let's hit pet paws first. Okay. We have some time. I'm sorry that we're smacking our, <laughs> our mouths open, eating with our mouths open, everybody. Yeah. Let's hit pet pause and then we will see what's under the lid. Okay, smoke signal said they had to come onto YouTube just to see mom. <laughs> Chris Ritchie! Hi, Chris Ritchie in the house. Yeah, if you guys want to see Barbecue Mama, head over to YouTube because we'll get a sneak peek. Now, let's look at some people's pets. Who do we got this week? Who do we got, guys? It's pet pause time. Let's see. <laughs> Playboy oh. Rick! <laughs> we got Glamour Lupe! And, and then, guys, we have this cat. This is actually, this happened in my backyard. Okay. So, that was Ricky, that was Lupe. I don't know if you could see that that actually was a cat in the middle there. Mm hmm. That was a cat, that was Maddie's backyard camera that picks up things, that picks up movement in her backyard. And it caught a very unusual visitor that she had late at night that scared the living daylights out of her. It really, really did. So I, at the second this happened, I wanted to show you guys. Um, look, look at that cute. guy. First oh, of all, no. absolutely adorable, this cat. He is a gorgeous cat. But I was in bed sleeping. It was probably, I'm going to guess, 8.02 p.m. <laughs> okay? I had been sleeping for hours. <laughs> okay? And I thought it was the middle of the night. I heard my cat, on, like, from the inside. He's an indoor cat. Little Ricky making this weird, scary noise that I had never heard before in my life. It sounded like a, a haunted child in my home. I got out of bed, ran downstairs. I saw the light was on in the back, and this cat and little Ricky were just going at it through the door. So I'm guess, my guess is that this is a boy cat. He smelled little Ricky from yeah. outside, and he wasn't having a problem. And Maddie had to, unfortunately, bear the brunt of that. <laughs> they were being so aggressive with each other, and little Ricky, guys, I will tell you, he is a little bit of an old man, okay? He is, he's, he's crusty, getting, though. He's getting up there in age, and I will tell you, he stood his ground. Yeah, he was he's giving it his all. He is really feisty. I always tell Maddie, little Ricky is like, you know how some cats will just go to bite to like tell you that they're mad and they're about to bite you? Like they'll just be like, nah, they'll just pretend. No, little Ricky will just bite. He doesn't hesitate. He just goes all, you mess with him a little tiny bit, he will bite the crap out of you. I'm surprised he's not your cat. Because yeah, oh he's feisty. <laughs> he's got some sass to him. He's got some attitude. And he should technically be owned by Kiki. I love the guy. 
our friends Noble Premium Bison are saying, hey barbecue family, we'll toss in our new tea with our next big box of bison giveaway. Oh my good heavens, guys. Awesome, guys. So the shirts that we are wearing today, guys, could be yours with our next giveaway of our big box of bison. Okay. We actually have some winners in the house. Fritz Frank is yep. a recipient of the big box of question or the big box Look at the of back. bison. And as well as Russell over at All Barbecue Canada. So you can see the back says Noble Premium Bison on it and the side. I've got actually that's the wrong side. I'll show I'll show you guys. Guys, it's backwards because yeah. it's on Insta. Um it's, I don't know why this is difficult to, to be moving like this. There but we go. No, it does say it. noble on it and um it is quite an awesome shirt. It is, yeah. It's a very comfortable shirt, very light, very breezy. Marianne is saying, I hope I win the giveaway. Would love the t-shirt. I know, guys, this t-shirt is a winner. Okay, so Farah's asking, where's the contest? Farah, it hasn't Hi, happened Farrah. yet, so don't worry about it. You're not late to the contest. We will let you know when it's posted, and you can enter, because you're going to want to win one of these, these shirts, because they're very, very comfortable. And uh, Farah is also saying, I've never tried bison, so Farah, that would be a prime opportunity for you to try them. Farah, that would be awesome, trying it for the first time. Farah, if you are local, I thought Farah said either she's in Hamilton or Burlington. Yeah, Farah, where sure. are you at? Fair, you can actually, if you are available September 9th, 9th and 10th, we're doing Taste of the Kingsway, downtown Toronto. You can come taste bison right with, um, I'm not telling you guys our recipe yet, don't no, worry. I'm not please gonna don't. Say, I'm not going to get in trouble by saying what we're making, but you can come try it and um, see us. I mean, we'd love to meet you. Yes, yeah, she said, yes, she is Burlington. Okay, I so knew please, it. I remembered. Please make it out fair. We're going to be grilling up some bison all day long. Mike Beerman saying, can you get the t-shirt in multiple colors? I'm going to throw question. that to our friends at Noble. Um, I've only seen it in white, but um, that's a good question, Mike. That's a very, very good question. Love Grows Baking coming on towards the end. So nice to see you, but they're saying, oh, I missed it again. But we still have some time. We've got our bison, our Lebanese, Middle Eastern inspired stuffed zucchini on the barbecue right now. And they're going to go take a little look. I think we might be able to lift the, the lid. And, then, and at that time, I can also toss in a couple bay leaves because okay. I, I want those bay leaves make a, a big difference. So I'm going to toss in a couple. I want to see where they're at with, in terms of the porcupineness. They, you'd be surprised at how quick they prank oh, up. Oh, really? Yeah, they prank up quite quickly. I said poink. <laughs> the technical word was poink. Okay, I'm going to go and lift the lid. I'm going to get my gloves on and see if I can add these in and show you guys what's going on underneath the hood here. Noble Premium Bison is answering our friend Mike. They're saying it comes in white at this point. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right, so let's lift up the foil here and see what we're, what we're looking like. Oh, yeah, let's see this. Okay, we're not prinking yet. <laughs> we haven't prinked yet, but we are cooking with gas okay, over here. Okay, look at the steam. We're cooking with charcoal, buddy. No, I know, but I'm We're cooking it. with charcoal. It's just an expression. That expression doesn't work when you are actually grilling on a charcoal grill. <laughs> okay, so we are nice and toasty. I'm going to get the lid back down because these have to cook. This is what you guys are going to be having for lunch. We actually want these to cook in a timely fashion. But as usual, we will go ahead and add these to our story afterwards and show you guys what they look like. And um, Maddie will do a taste test and tell you guys what they taste Chris like. Chris Ritchie is saying, ooh, those look good. I'm starving. They are good, guys. They're phenomenal. Such an easy recipe. You can and tell just by the aroma that is going to be delectable. And we'll say it again. We are both on a simple kick. Yes. Simple flavors, simple ingredients. And I feel like that's the best type of cooking. It's quicker, it's easier, it's less ingredients. Absolutely. And I don't know about you guys, but I love a recipe where you can add things to a filling that you don't have to pre-cook ahead of time. So sometimes like in a filling, people will add already cooked yes. rice. I love Agreed. that in this recipe, the rice is cooking in the dish. It's it kind of, aside from the fact that it prinks up, it does mold to the inside of the zucchini. I'm not liking prink. Isn't that I'm what you're saying? I'm liking point. Oh, point. I'm saying point. Both are not right, okay? Uh, Russell is saying thanks for the shout out today. I'm from, thanks for the shout out today from the store and staff of All Barbecue Canada. We love you guys. We gotta get over there. Yes, we do. We definitely, I can picture Barbecue Mama, Barbecue Pops, us getting in the fan mobile and heading down for a live show there. Oh yeah. I think that would be super cool. Guys, oh, yeah. let's make it happen. That would be really awesome. Cause where is that, Kingston? Yes, I guys, think... Guys, you guys are located in Kingston, right? We love an excuse to go to Kingston. Yeah, Russell lives in Gananoque. I remember his kids were yes. telling me that day that I spent so much time with them. I miss those kids. We became oh my best friends with those kids like that. Yes, we totally did. 
Mike Bierman is also agreeing simple is often better when cooking. I would have to definitely agree with that. And I don't know what's with, what's up with us lately with the really simple ingredients I know. and recipes, but this one's a real winner. Guys, we are at time. Thank you guys so much for joining us. This one went, I, I, I sound like a broken record, okay? Because we say it every single week it went by super quick but i hate when we can't show you guys the finished dish but something like this you cannot rush so we will add it to the story we're gonna have to extend the live show guys I yes think we could extend it maybe by 10 minutes maddie and kiki after dark we've been talking about that for years yes maybe our but not after dark maybe <laughs> maybe our patreon members we do it as a as a patreon perk you get a 10 minute after the show type of experience or a continuation of the show because these are going to be done in 10 well, they're going to be done in 10. 10. After dark, I feel like it needs to be more like a half hour. Uh, there's no dark time <laughs> approaching, buddy. It's it's 12.59 p.m. We don't even stay up after dark. I, Every <laughs> night I go to bed and it's still light out, guys. That's a true story. <laughs> that is 100% true, everybody. Oh, my goodness. So we hope you guys have had fun today. We hope you visit our website and the Noble website to get this <laughs> recipe. James! Or less talk, more cooking. Oh. James, we say it all the time. We love to yap with you guys. We really do. But it wouldn't be the show if we weren't also talking and having a blast with you guys along the way. Sometimes, yeah, the cooking doesn't happen. But I definitely see an extra 10 minutes in our future. Jay's saying just have a continuation. That's the plan, Jay. It's just Maddie and Kiki After Dark is going to be a continuation of the show that unfortunately you will have to be a Patreon member to get access we're to. We're fortunately because guys, we're going to be doing a lot more on Patreon. So um, we'll keep you guys posted. But thank you guys so much. Have a fantastic weekend, barbecue family. We'll see you guys next week. Same time, same place. Bye, everybody. Bye.